just amazing things that people throw out, you know, people just don't want. I've been with the New York City Department of Sanitation for the last 34 years. I started collecting about 29 years ago. I started picking up knickknacks and stuff like that, and we're not allowed to take stuff home. That's why I like to display and everything. What I got here is I got all these tables all set up. This way you can go in and out and everything, and each table will have some kind of a theme on it. Okay, what we have here is a picture from 1944. All these offices, everybody signed, every picture is signed by the person there. I call this my studio. This is my little studio over here. This is where I have uh, all the films that I find, eight millimeter silent movies and everything. I also have an old projector. This was just finding it, somebody just threw away, I found them in a box. The time of the year that I find most stuff will be in the summertime, because people move, you know, people throw stuff out. One thing that I cherish over here is this little Star of David. It was from the World Trade Center, and it's the actual steel from one of the buildings there. I, I, I mean, to find something like this, this is, this is like a treasure to me. I always said of anything that I have here that somebody sees and they would like it back, I would definitely uh, take a picture with them and uh, give it right back to them. I've been a picker since I was nine years old. I always went out, looked in the garbage. I had two brothers and three sisters, so we were a family of six. We didn't get much stuff for Christmas, so I just started going out and finding stuff. Little toy trucks for my brothers, a doll with a missing arm, I would fix it. I was like Santa Claus to them. For the last 15 years, I've been uh, setting up Christmas decorations here. This is the stuff that I found after Christmas. When I go out, uh, people throw their Christmas stuff away. I have a music box on the bottom and I have a CD that I play. That also was found in the garbage. The whole collection is special to me. The whole museum is special. It's not open to the public, but people do come up here almost every single day. They want to come up here and they want to look at it and we have to uh, you know, tell them that they, they can. It's not open to the public, so you will have to call downtown and get authorization to come here and see it. Well, I'm gonna be retiring in the uh, next six months or something like that, but I'll, I'll still be here after I retire because I'm only like 15 blocks away from here, so I'll be coming to the museum and checking everything out, finding out what's gonna go on, where is it gonna move, and stuff like that. I will hope they could keep it here in this building and just fix the building up and open it up to the public. You might think there was a simple answer to this. After all, we know how to say what most things are for, like this or that. 